。大家好，欢迎来到乐刀，一个独特的中英双语频道。通过简单的图画和小故事，让我们一起来轻松的学习。基本的英文和华语。如果你是第一次来到我们的频道，请记得点赞、订阅并留言哦，非常感谢。Hello, welcome to Le Dao, a uniquely bilingual channel that cultivates the learning of basic English and Chinese Mandarin through simple arts and stories. If it's the first time that you chance upon this channel, please remember to like, subscribe. And leave a comment below. Thanks a lot. In this primary one Chinese storybook, Dian Dian's Wonderland, published by the Curriculum Planning and Development Institute of the Ministry of Education of Singapore and Marshall Cavendish Education, we will be reading four short stories. The first short story is Whose Pants Are These? 在这本由新加坡教育部课程规划与发展局和名创教育出版的小学华文一下故事读本《点点乐园》里，我们将阅读四个小故事。第一个小故事是：谁的裤子？谁的裤子 ？Whose pants are these? In 谁的裤子 ？We can see that. 谁 which means who, can also be pronounced as 谁 over here. The pronunciation 谁 is usually used for more serious or solemn occasions, whereas the pronunciation 谁 is more commonly used in everyday life. 是的，在这里我们可以看到谁也可以读成谁。谁的读音通常适用于庄重的场合，而谁的读音则比较生活化，多用于日常生活中。有一天，天空掉下来一条裤子，刚好落在老鼠迷你的头上。One day, a pair of Pants fell from the sky and landed right on Mouse Mimi's head. 好吃 ，Yummy! Look at Mouse Mimi. It was happily enjoying its food, totally unaware of what was going to happen next. By the way, I have no idea what it was eating. If you know, please leave a comment below. 你们看，老鼠米米正在开心地享用着它的食物，完全不知道接下来会发生些什么。我看不出它在吃什么呢。如果你知道的话，请在下面留言。米米决定帮裤子找回主人。Mouse Mimi decided to help find the owner of the pants. It asked Piggy Bobo, "Bobo, are these your pants?" Bobo was sleeping then, and so it replied, "Huh?" <laughs> Mimi 问 Bobo, "Bobo, 这是你的裤子吗？" Bobo 正在睡觉呢。他回答说，"啊。" <laughs> 哎呀，大猪波波太胖了，裤子穿上去变得好小好小。汪汪汪汪！听到小狗汪汪的叫声，老鼠米米问：“汪汪，这是你的裤子吗 ？”Alas, Piggy Bobo was too fat. When they put on the pants, they became super tiny. Woof, 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 woof. Upon hearing the little puppy Woofy, Mouse Mimi asked, "Woofy, are these your pants?" Puppy Woofy's legs were so short. That the pants became super long when it put them on. Meow! 
Hearing the kitty meow meow's cry, Mouse Mimi asked, "Meow meow, are these your pants?" 小狗汪汪的腿太短了，裤子穿上去变得好长好长。听到猫咪喵喵的叫声，老鼠米米问：“喵喵，这是你的裤子吗？”喵！猫咪喵喵太瘦了，裤子穿上去变得好大好大。大猪波波太胖了，小狗汪汪太矮了。猫咪喵喵太瘦了，老鼠咪咪想，裤子会是谁的呢？喵。Kitty Meow Meow was so skinny that the pants became super big and baggy when it wore them. Piggy Bobo was too fat. Puppy Woofy was too short. Kitty Meow Meow was too skinny. Hmm. Mouse Mimi thought to itself, "Whose pants could this be?" Suddenly, there was a voice. Mimi, what are you holding in your hand? Mimi responded, "Who's that?" 突然传来一个声音，米米，你手上拿着什么东西呀、啊？老鼠米米问道，是谁？ <laughs> so it was Dian Dian. Dian Dian was a little tall, but not too tall. Dian Dian was a little chubby, but not too fat. You are heavier than me. <laughs> For your information, in Chinese, 一点点 means a little bit. When Dian Dian put on the pants, they were not too big, nor too small. But just right. Mouse Mimi exclaimed with joy, "Woohoo! I found the owner of the pants!" 裤子穿在点点身上，不大不小，刚刚好。老鼠米米开心的喊道：“找到了！” The second short story is "In Search of Happiness." 找快乐，你知道什么是快乐吗？我们一起去找答案吧。首先，点点问大猪波波：“波波，你知道什么是快乐吗？”大猪波波说：“知道啊，快乐就是。In search of happiness, do you know what is happiness? Let's find out together. First, Dian Dian asked Piggy Bobo." Bobo, do you know what is happiness? Piggy Bobo said, "Yes, I know. Happiness is."
Eating crispy roti prata. Just for your info, roti prata is an Indian pancake dish that is well liked by people in Southeast Asia. Seeing Piggy Bobo being so happy, Dian Dian was happy as well. Da Zhu Bobo 说了些什么呢？他说啊，快乐就是可以吃到香香脆脆的印度煎饼。看到波波这么开心，点点也很开心。看，他自己也吃了一个印度煎饼呢。接下来，点点问老鼠米米：“米米，你知道什么是快乐吗？”老鼠米米说：“当然了。”快乐就是。Next, Dian Dian asked Mouse Mimi. Mimi, do you know what is happiness? Mouse Mimi said, "Of course, I know. Happiness is waiting for the rambutans to become." Sweet and juicy. Seeing Mimi being so happy, Dian Dian was happy too. 对于老鼠米米来说，快乐是什么呢？老鼠米米说呀，快乐就是等到红毛丹变得又甜又多汁。看到米米这么开心，点点。也很开心。接下来，点点又去问小狗汪汪：“汪汪，你知道什么是快乐吗？”小狗汪汪回答道：“还用说，快乐就是…… Next， 点点 went to ask Puppy Woofy。Woofy。Do you know what is happiness? Puppy Woofy replied, "That goes without saying. Happiness is having a small ball as toy and having a big bone for lunch." 对于小狗汪汪来说，快乐是什么呢？小狗汪汪说呀。快乐就是有小皮球当玩具和有大骨头当午餐，还有还有有点点当我的好朋友。Puppy Woofy continued, and there's more with 点点 as my best friend. That is so sweet. 第三个小故事是仙人掌的烦恼。The third short story is the cactus troubles. 仙人掌的烦恼，点点忘了交作业，被老师骂，感到很烦恼。哎。游乐场另一个角落也有人很烦恼，唉。A、cactus troubles. Dian Dian felt very troubled after being scolded by the teacher for forgetting to submit his homework. Sigh. At the other corner of the playground, someone else was also feeling very troubled. Sigh. Why are you copying me? Did you get scolded by the teacher too? Dian Dian asked the cactus. The cactus said. 
Of course not. I have many sharp thorns, and no one wants to play with me. <laughs> Next, it told Dian Dian that when it tried to have a friendly handshake with Puppy Wuffy, Wuffy was hurt by its thorns. Ouch! When it touched Bunny White's balloon, its thorns punctured the balloon, and Bunny White burst into tears. <laughs> when it approached Mouse Mimi, play with me. Mimi was so scared of its thorns that it ran away. Poor cactus. <coughs> 你怎么有样学样？你也被老师骂吗？点点问仙人掌。仙人掌说：“才不是，我身上有太多尖尖的刺，没人肯跟我玩。”接下来，他告诉点点，当他想和小狗汪汪友好的握手时，汪汪被他的刺刺伤了，痛。当他碰到兔子小白的气球时，他的刺刺破了气球，令小白兔嚎啕大哭。<笑>当他走进老鼠米米时，跟我玩，米米却被他身上的刺吓得跑开了。可怜的仙人掌，<笑>点点决定帮仙人掌想办法。有了。用厚厚的毛巾包起来，就不怕刺到人了。点点 decided to help the cactus. I've got an idea. Wrap yourself in a thick towel, and you won't sting anymore. No, it won't work. It's too hot for the cactus. But then, Dian Dian had another idea. Let's prune away the thorns. 不行了，天气太热，仙人掌会受不了的。不过，点点又出主意说，把尖尖的刺都剪掉吧。没有了刺，仙人掌就不像仙人掌了。那会像什么呢？奇异果、蛋、马铃薯。哎，这也不行，那也不行。点点和仙人掌好烦恼啊。A cactus doesn't look like one anymore without its Thorns. Would it look like a kiwi fruit, an egg, a potato? Ah, nothing seemed to work. Dian Dian and the cactus felt really troubled. Suddenly. Dian Dian had another great idea. What could it be? Dian Dian ran as fast as he could. Wait for me! Shouted the cactus. Follow me! Said Dian Dian. Suddenly, Dian Dian 又想到了好办法。会是什么好办法呢？点点飞快地跑起来，等我！仙人掌喊道：“跟我来！”点点说 ：“The fact is, you don't have to be close to each other to play, right?” 
Dian Dian and the cactus got on the seesaw and had great fun playing together. 事实是，玩游戏不一定要靠得很近哦，对不对？点点和仙人掌坐上跷跷板，开心的一起玩。第四个也是最后一个小故事是，猜猜是谁 ？The fourth and final short story is, guess who is it? 猜猜是谁？点点今天很开心，很多朋友陪他去游泳。等等我，猜一猜他们是谁吧。他的朋友已经在叫他了呢。点点，快过来啊！点点 had a great day as lots of his friends went swimming with him. Wait for me. Make a guess who were these friends. His friends were already calling for him. Dian Dian, come quickly. 啊，这是什么？是长长的鼻子吗？猜猜是谁躲在游泳池里？猜对了，是大象皮皮。哦，这又是什么？是一对长长的耳朵吗？猜猜是谁躲在游泳池里 ？Bingo! It's Pippi the elephant. Oh, and what's this? Is it a pair of long ears? Guess who's hiding in the pool? That's very smart. It's Bunny White indeed. Gee. What could this round thing be? Guess who's hiding in the pool? 真聪明，是兔子小白。咦，这圆嘟嘟的会是什么？猜猜是谁躲在游泳池里？是八爪鱼？不是啊，胖企鹅。不对呀、啊、！Is it an octopus? No. A fat penguin? Nope. It turned out to be the big round belly of Piggy Bobo. Ah, and what is this then? Is it a coconut tree? Or is it a long bamboo pole? 原来是大猪波波圆圆的大肚皮。啊，这又是什么？是椰子树还是长竹竿？这么高，高到天上去了！哇！会是谁躲在游泳池里？ So tall, reaching into the sky. Wow! Who could be hiding in the pool? It's me. So it's the giraffe. 到底是谁躲在游泳池里呢？是我啊！原来是长颈鹿。你也猜对了吗 ？Did you guess correctly too? 好了，今天的小故事系列就到此为止了。希望你们喜欢这些双语的小故事。
别忘了订阅和点击小铃铛哦。我们下次再见，拜拜。All right, this marks the end of our short story series for today. Hope you like this little bilingual short stories. Don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell too. See you next time. Bye. <laughs>